So in this video, we are going to learn how to create an AI chatbot for Facebook Messenger using Dante AI. Let's say you have created and custom trained AI chatbot using Dante AI. And now using this chatbot, you want to automatically reply to the messages which you are receiving on your Facebook page. So let me tell you how you can automate this process. And in this automation, after creating this AI chatbot, whenever we are going to receive a new message on Facebook Messenger or on our Facebook page, automatically first we are going to search for that person who sent the message in Google Sheet. So in the Google Sheet, we are completely maintaining the record who had the conversation with us on Facebook Messenger. After checking the user, we are going to send that same message to Dante AI and using that chatbot, we are going to generate a reply for the message which the user has sent. After getting that reply, after generating that reply, we are going to send that same reply to the user who sent the message earlier. Now, if you want to know how you can create this kind of AI chatbot for Facebook Messenger, for that, you just have to come with me to my screen. So here you can see, this is my Facebook page named as Green Pro Landscaping. Now I want that whenever I'm going to receive any message from any user on my Facebook page using the AI chatbot which I've created using Dante AI, I want to generate the reply for the same message and I want to send that same reply back to the same user on Facebook Messenger. Now to do this, we have to connect our Facebook page with Dante AI. And to make this connection, we are going to use an automation and integration platform called Public Connect over here. So here you can see we are on Public Connect's dashboard and to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Public Connect in the description box below. Now after coming to this dashboard, we are going to create an automation workflow over here between our Facebook page and Dante AI. And to create this workflow, click on this create workflow button and give this workflow a name. Let's say I'll name it as AI chatbot for Facebook Messenger. AI chatbot for Facebook Messenger. And after naming your automation workflow, just select the folder of your Public Connect account in which you want to create this workflow and click on create. Now, as we click on create, you can see the workflow is open over here. In this workflow, you can see two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's start with our trigger window. Now the idea here is first we are going to connect our Facebook page with Pavli Connect in the trigger step so that whenever we are going to receive any message from a user on our Facebook page, the same message will be received inside Pavli Connect and this automation workflow will trigger. After that, using this Pavli Connect automation, we are going to send that same message to Dante AI and using the knowledge base, using the AI chatbot on our custom knowledge, which we have created in Dante AI, we are going to generate or get a reply for that message. And after getting the reply using the same automation, we are going to send that same reply back to the user on Facebook Messenger. So let's see how it is done. Starting from a trigger window, in Choose app, search for Facebook Messenger. Just select it. After selecting Facebook Messenger, in Trigger Event from the drop-down, select New Message Sent to Page. Then just click on Connect and select Add New Connection. Now here, we have to connect our Facebook Messenger account, our Facebook page with Pavli Connect to capture incoming messages. And to make this connection, just click on this Connect with Facebook Messenger button. Now because I have logged into my Facebook account in my browser, Pavli Connect will detect the same account. Just click on this continue and as we click on continue, we will see our Facebook Messenger account will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, the only thing it asks us is the Facebook page. So here in this drop down, you can see a list of all the Facebook pages which I have in my Facebook account. Out of all of this, new messages from which particular page you want to receive inside Pavli Connect. You have to select that. So I have this Facebook page named as Green Pro Landscaping. I want that all the messages which I am receiving on this particular Facebook page, I want to get those messages inside Pavli Connect and set up or create this AI chatbot for this particular Facebook page. So from this drop down, we are going to search for the same Facebook page and select it over here. After selecting our Facebook page, just click on save and send test request. And when we click on save and send test request, here you can see it is now changed to waiting for webhook response. This means Pavli Connect is waiting to get some response of a new message being received on our Facebook page. 
So what we are going to do from some other account, from some other Facebook profile, I am going to send a message on my Facebook page. Okay, so here I have opened a Facebook profile of this user named as Devin Parker. And using this person's Facebook account, I am going to send a message on my same Facebook page. So I'll just click on this message button. Here you can see earlier as well, this person has sent the message on our Facebook page. Right now, I want to send the message as what is landscaping? Just a simple message where I'm sending what is landscaping. So just click on this send. Now just now we sent a message on our Facebook page from this user's account, Devin Parker. Now because we have connected our Facebook page with Pabli Connect, we will see as we receive this message on our Facebook page, here you can see under messenger section, under Meta Business Suit, you can see just now we have received this message from Devin Parker and the message is what is landscaping. So as we receive this message, the same message is also received inside Pabli Connect. So here in our Pabli Connect workflow in the trigger step, you can see we have received some response. And in this response, you can see the details of the exact same message. You can see the name of the same person, Devin Parker, who sent us the message. We'll scroll down further, and here you can see the sender ID. So unique Facebook account ID from which we have received the message, we have this sender ID as well. And we are going to use this sender ID further in this automation workflow. Then after that, here in front of message text, you can see the exact same message which the user has sent us. What is landscaping? The same message which we have received on our Facebook page. So this means the step one of setting up this automation is completed. We have successfully received the new messages which we are receiving on our Facebook page inside Pabli Connect. Now, every time we will be receiving a lot of messages on our Facebook page. And the messages will be from new users as well as from old users. Now, in Dante AI, for each conversation, for each chat, it is recorded as a conversation ID. A conversation ID is assigned by Dante AI for each conversation. And I want to provide a personalized conversation, a personalized chatbot for each and every user who is sending me messages on Facebook Messenger. Let's say if a user has sent me a message today, I had some conversation using this chatbot with the user. Now, even after one week or one month, the same person sends us the message. I want to take the reference of the previous conversations as well. And to do this, to set up this kind of condition or logic in our automation workflow, we have to check whether the message which we have received on our Facebook page, whether this person has sent us a message earlier or not. So what we are going to do, we are going to take and use of Google Spreadsheet. So using Google Sheets, what I have done, in Google Sheet, I am recording the details of each and every person who is having the conversation with my Facebook page or using this particular AI chatbot. So whenever the person sends the message for the first time, I'm going to add their name, their Facebook account ID, and the conversation ID for that particular user, which Dante is going to give us in the next step, I'm going to add all of these details in this Google spreadsheet. Now, after that, whenever the next message of that particular person comes, or we receive a new message on Facebook Messenger for that same person, we are going to search for that person in our Google spreadsheet. If it is an old user, if we have the Facebook account ID of that person in our Google Sheet, that means that particular user already had a conversation with us earlier. And we will be using the conversation ID for that same person in Dante AI. But if we don't get that particular user in our Google spreadsheet, in our database, in that case, we are going to consider that the message is received from a new user. And we are going to create the conversation ID for the same. And after creating the conversation and getting the reply, we are going to add the details of the same person in our Google Sheet as well. It is very simple to set up. Let me show you. So first, we have to search whether this person who sent a message, whether do we have the details of this person in our Google Sheet? Is it an old user or it is a new chat, a new user? For that, we will just scroll down and come to this action step. And here in Choose app, we are going to search for Google Sheets over here because we want to search for the details of the person in Google Sheets. After selecting Google Sheets, here in Action Event from the drop-down, we are going to search for the Action Event as Lookup Spreadsheet Row version 2 and just select it. Then just click on Connect and select Add New Connection. Now here, we have to connect our Google Sheets account with Pabli Connect. So the Google Spreadsheet which I have created, we have to connect this account with Pabli Connect and to make this connection, click on this Sign In with Google button. Now, as we click on sign in with Google, just select your Google Sheets account in which you have created the spreadsheet, scroll down and click on continue. And as we click on continue, we will see 
our Google Sheets account will get connected with Pavli Connect. And yes, we have successfully made the connection. After making the connection, it is asking us to select the spreadsheet that in which particular spreadsheet we want to search for this user. So I have created the spreadsheet and the name of the spreadsheet is Dante AI Conversation. In this spreadsheet, I want to search whether the user who sent us the message on Facebook Messenger, whether it is an old user or not. So we are going to select the same spreadsheet from this dropdown. So here in this dropdown, you can see a list of all the Google spreadsheets which I have created in my Google Sheets account. Out of all of this, I am going to select the spreadsheet Dante AI Conversation. After selecting the spreadsheet, it is asking us to select the sheet. So here it is most likely possible that in the same spreadsheet, you might have created multiple sheets over here. Now here what we are going to do, we have to select the sheets. Right now in this spreadsheet, I have only one sheet named as sheet one. That's why here from the dropdown, we are going to select the same. We have only one option named as sheet one. Then it is asking us lookup value. That what is the value we are searching in our Google Sheets. Now we are going to search for the user. We are going to search whether we have the details of this user on the basis of Facebook account ID. And we are going to do this because two person can have the exact same name, but on Facebook, two person will not have the same Facebook account ID. So in the trigger step where we have received the details of a new message from Facebook Messenger, we have received this sender ID. And this is the unique Facebook account ID of the person who are sending us the messages. So using this particular ID, we are going to search for the details of the person in our Google spreadsheet. So what we have to do, we have to map this response of sender ID from the trigger step of Facebook Messenger to this Google Sheets action step. So we'll just click on this field of lookup value. And here in the drop down, you can see a list of all the responses which we have received from Facebook Messenger of a new message. Out of all of these responses, select the response of sender ID and we are going to map it. So whatever user is going to send the message on our Facebook page, the details of the same user and the same message will be received in our trigger step. And from those responses, we are going to send the sender ID of the person to our Google Sheet. And we are going to search for this sender ID in our Google spreadsheet. Now here it is asking us lookup column that in which particular column we want to search for this sender ID. So I have entered the Facebook account ID of the users in column B. So I'm going to enter the lookup column as column B. Then it is asking us end column of data that till which particular column you want to get the data. Now in this sheet, it is a pretty small sheet and I have the data only till column C. So my end column will be column C because I only want to get the data, get the details till column C. Then it is asking us lookup as date that whether we are searching for date or not. So we are not searching for date. So we are going to select no. And then it is asking us use sheet headers as key in response. So yes, I want to use the headers of the Google sheet as keys. So I'm selecting yes. And we want to search for the data from the top. So we are going to select top under sort rows. And after mapping all the details and entering all the options, just click on save and send test request. Now, when we click on save and send test request, here you can see we have received the response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. In this response, because I already had the details of Devin Parker, the same person who sent the message on our Facebook page in my Google Sheet, here you can see using this Facebook account ID, we have received their details. We have the name, we have the account ID, and we have the Dante AI conversation ID for the same person as well. So this means if we have received this response, if we have received all the details, if the details of this person exist in our Google spreadsheet, this means this person already had a conversation with our AI chatbot on Facebook Messenger. And this also means that we can use the conversation ID from their previous conversation and continue the next message, send the next message to the same as well. Now, after getting the conversation ID, what we want to do, we want to send the same message which we have received in trigger step responses to Dante AI. And we want to generate a reply for this message over here. So we will just scroll down and click on this add action step button over here. And then here in choose app, we are going to search for Dante AI. Just select it. After selecting Dante AI in action event from the drop down, select the action event as add prompt. Then just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here we are going to connect our Dante AI account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, we have to enter the API key of our Dante AI account. Now you must be thinking how you can get this API key. So to get it, just go to your Dante AI account 
and then just go to integrations section. After coming to integrations, here you can see the API key of your Dante AI account. Just copy the API key from here and then paste it over here. And after pasting the API key, just click on save. And as we click on save, we will see our Dante AI account will get connected with Pabli Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is the knowledge base. So here in this drop down, you can see a list of all the different knowledge bases or all the different AI chatbots which I have created in my Dante AI account. Now here we have to select that using which particular knowledge base we want our chatbot to generate the response. So I want to use this knowledge base named as Facebook Messenger which I have created in Dante AI. So I have created this knowledge base and also trained this knowledge base on my custom data. So we are going to select that particular knowledge base over here. Then after that, it is asking us for the prompt. That what is the prompt? What is the message we want to send to this user? So we want to send the message which we have received on Facebook Messenger from the user as a prompt to Dante AI. So from trigger responses, we are going to map this response of message text to this Dante AI action step. And the process of mapping stays the same. Just click on this field and here in the drop down from Facebook Messenger responses, select the response of message text and it will be mapped. In this way, whatever message we are going to receive on our Facebook page, the same message will be sent to Dante AI to get the reply. After mapping the prompt, it is asking us model type. So here in the dropdown, you can see we have a list of different models. Out of all of this, I want to use GPT-4 model to generate the reply. So I have selected that. And then it is asking us for the conversation ID. So in the previous step, you saw that we were searching for the details of the user who sent us the message. Now, if we are going to search for the details, if you are going to get the details of the person who sent the message, we are going to get all of these responses. And in these responses, we are going to have the conversation ID. So from Google Sheet responses, we are going to map the conversation ID to this Dante AI action step. Just click on this field and from the drop down from Google Sheets responses, select and map the response of conversation ID. But if in case the person who is sending us the message is a new user, we don't have the details and the conversation ID of that user in our Google spreadsheet. In that case, what is going to happen? We are going to get a blank response. We are not going to get the response of all of these details like row index, name, Facebook account ID on conversation ID from Google spreadsheet. And in that case, we are going to map, we are going to send some blank details, some blank content to Dante AI in the field of conversation ID. And if the value or if the details of conversation ID are missing in the API request in the call or while sending the prompt to Dante AI, Dante AI will generate a new conversation ID for that particular message. So in this way, if we already have the conversation ID, then we are going to use the old ID. But if we don't have the conversation ID in Google Sheet, in that case, we are going to generate a new conversation ID for that particular user. After mapping the conversation ID, just click on save and send test request. And after clicking on save and send test request, here you can see we have received some response. In this response, you can see the reply for the same prompt, the same message which we have mapped over here. Basically the same message which we have received from the user in Facebook Messenger on our Facebook page. And also after getting the response, you can see the conversation ID as well. This is the same conversation ID which we had in our Google spreadsheet. So in this way, if we don't enter the conversation ID, this ID will be generated. Dante AI is going to generate a new ID, but if we already have one, then we are going to use the old conversation only. So using Dante AI, we have generated a reply for the same message which we have received on Facebook Messenger. Now we want to send this reply to the same person who sent us the message in the next step. For that, we will just scroll down and click on this add action step button over here. And then here in choose app, we are going to search for Facebook Messenger once again. So here in the action step, select Facebook Messenger. And after selecting Facebook Messenger, an action event from the drop down, select send message. Then just click on connect. And because we have connected our Facebook Messenger account with Pabli Connect in the trigger step, we don't have to make a new connection. You can select the existing connection and click on save. Now after clicking on save, here the first thing it asks us is the Facebook page ID. That what is the ID of the Facebook page on which we are receiving these messages. So here in the trigger step responses which we have received from Facebook Messenger of a new message, in those responses we have received a response of entry ID. And this is our Facebook page ID. 
Now we have to map this response of entry ID from trigger step responses to this Facebook Messenger send message action step. So we will just click on this field and from the drop down from trigger responses select and map the response of entry ID. If you have any doubts or confusion while mapping the page ID, you can always refer to the help text written below over here. After mapping the page ID, it is asking us for the recipient. So we have to enter the recipient ID, the ID of the person to whom we want to send the message. So we want to send the message, we want to send the reply to the same person who sent the message in the trigger step. So here in trigger responses, we have received the sender ID, ID of the person who sent the message. So we are going to map the sender ID in this recipient ID field. Just click on this field and from the drop down from Facebook Messenger responses, select the response of sender ID and map it. After mapping the recipient ID, it is asking us for the message that what is the message? What is the reply we want to send? So we want to map the reply. We are going to send the reply given by Dante AI. So just click on this field and from the drop down from Dante AI responses, select the response over here. Select the reply which was given by Dante AI. And after mapping all of these details, just click on save and send test request. Now when we click on save and send test request, here you can see we have received a response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that this particular message which was given by Dante AI is sent as a reply to the same person who sent the message on our Facebook page. So let's check it. I will just go to my Facebook messenger section of my Facebook page and yes, here you can see just now the reply is sent to Devin Parker, the same person who sent us the message. So the user sent the message what is landscaping and using Dante AI, we have generated the reply and we have sent the same reply back to the user on Facebook Messenger. This means the step four of setting up this automation is also completed. We have successfully generated and sent the reply to the person who has sent us the message on Facebook Messenger. Now after this, what we want to do, we just want to ensure that if the person, if the user who sent us the message on our Facebook Messenger, if that is a new person, if we don't have the details of that person in our Google spreadsheet, in that case, we want to add the details of that new person like their name, their Facebook account ID and the Dante AI conversation ID. For that, we are going to just scroll down and click on this add action step button over here. And here in choose app, first we are going to select filter by family. So we want to add a filter condition that only if we don't have the details of that person in a Google spreadsheet. So if we won't have the details of the person, we won't be getting the response of the person like row index. So we are going to set up a filter condition in such a way that if we go, don't get the response of row index, only in that case, we are going to continue this automation after this step. So select filter value in action event and then just click on connect. After clicking on connect here in select label in the drop down, you can see a list of all the responses from previous step. Out of all of these responses, we are going to select the response of result zero row index. And then in filter type, we are going to select does not exist. This means if we don't get the response of row index of row number from Google Sheets, this means the person who sent the message, we don't have that person's details in Google Sheet. So we have selected this filter condition and then just click on save and send test request. Now, because we have the details, we have the row index and response, it is showing us this condition is false. This means this filter is working perfectly fine. Then after that, we will just scroll down and click on this add action step button over here. And then here in choose app, because we want to enter the details, add the details in Google Sheets, we are going to select Google Sheets over here. And in action event from this drop down, select the action event as add new row. And then just click on connect. Because we have connected our Google spreadsheet in the previous step, we don't have to make a new connection. You can select the existing connection and click on save. And as we click on save, we will see our Google Sheets account will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, it is asking us to select the spreadsheet. So once again, we are going to select the same spreadsheet in which we are having the details of the user with their conversation ID from Dante AI. So just select that particular spreadsheet and also select the same sheet over here from the drop down. And then all the columns of data which we have created in this sheet, you can see all of these columns as fields over here. And we are going to map the details. Like we are going to map the name. So from trigger responses, we are going to select and map the response of name of the person. Then in Facebook account ID, from trigger response of itself, we are going to map the sender ID. And then here in Dante AI conversation ID, we are going to map the response of conversation ID, which Dante AI gave us after the add prompt action. 
And after mapping all of these details, we will just click on this save button. We won't click on save and send test request because we have mapped the details of Devin Parker, this particular user, and we already have the details of this person in Google Sheet. So we just clicked on save. And our automation workflow, our AI chatbot for Facebook Messenger is created successfully. Now, whenever we are going to receive a new message on our Facebook page using this automation, using this AI chatbot, automatically you can send the reply. If we receive the message from a new person, in that case, we are going to create the conversation ID for their first message. And from the second message itself, we are going to send all the message under that same conversation inside Dante AI. Now, after setting up this automation, we are going to test this automation workflow over here. So I have opened the Facebook profile of Michael Karas, this particular user. And from this user's Facebook account, I'm going to send a message over here. Now, what I'm going to do in my Google spreadsheet, you can see we have the details of this user, Michael Karas. So let me remove these details. Let's say this person never had a conversation with my Facebook Messenger chatbot. So this user is going to send a message on my Facebook page. So let's say the message is, what is gardening? What is gardening? So let's send this message. So just now, Michael Karas, this person, this new user sent a message on my Facebook page. And as they send the message, we will see automatically within few seconds, using this AI chatbot, the reply will be received over here. So we will just wait for a few seconds over here. And yes, here you can see immediately within few seconds, the reply is sent for the same message. And you will see because we sent a message as a new user, that's why in our Google spreadsheet, the details of that same user is added as well. That too automatically. Like we have the name of the person, we have their Facebook account ID, and also we have their conversation ID, the new conversation ID, which was generated using Dante AI. Now, all the messages which this particular user is going to send us on our Facebook page using this AI chatbot, all of these messages will be under the same conversation in Dante AI. This means the automation workflow or the AI chatbot for Facebook Messenger, which we have created using Public Connect, this chatbot is working perfectly fine. So not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications with Public Connect. And one more important thing, you will find the clone link of this exact same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone this exact same workflow into your own Public Connect account and use this automation workflow for free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can email us at support at or post it on our forum over here. Or you can write us in the comment box below too. If you want to check out the pricing of Public Connect, you can visit this link. And if this video was helpful to you, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Pavli. So this is it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.